services were about to start. The congregation pouring out after a woman fired shots inside Lakewood Church in Houston, home to celebrity pastor Joel Osteen. The woman carrying a long gun and accompanied by a small child. Off-duty police shot and killed her, the child in critical condition. Osteen's message to his congregation tonight. Also breaking, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin transported back to the hospital today what we know about his condition. Former President Trump under fire for suggesting he would encourage Russia to attack U.S. allies if they haven't paid enough to support NATO. President Biden's warning to Israel's prime minister about his controversial plan to send forces into a Palestinian city packed with a million refugees. Grief and anger, some of the families of service members killed in a helicopter crash near San Diego, now questioning the military's decision that led to their deaths. That's not happened under such questionable circumstances. The judge busted for texting during a murder trial, even mocking lawyers as they argued before her what she's saying now. And an inspiring mission, the doctors performing a simple surgery to deliver the gift of sight. Ali Rafa reports. Former President Donald Trump under fire tonight after saying he would support Russia attacking U.S. allies that don't pay what he deems their fair share. I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. His comments threatening to amend the NATO alliance if he retakes the White House and sparking swift backlash from both sides of the aisle. The White House slamming the comments as appalling and unhinged. And this reaction from Mr. Trump's sole GOP opponent, Nikki Haley, on the campaign trail today. Trump said the most irresponsible thing. You certainly don't want to give them the right to invade a friend. Haley also firing back at Trump for questioning why her husband, who's deployed overseas, is not by her side. What happened to her husband? Where is he? He's gone. Donald Trump clearly doesn't understand that in South Carolina, we love our military men and women. The former South Carolina governor betting big on the Republican primary in her home state, despite trailing her former boss there by double digits. Haley trying to capitalize on the age gap between her and the racist two front runners. Do we really want to have a country in disarray and a world on fire and have two 80-year-olds as our candidates? The issue of age, a political vulnerability of President Biden's, taking on a new significance in the days after the special counsel's report on Mr. Biden's handling of classified documents revealed scathing allegations about his memory struggles, which the president denies. He is sharp, intensely probing, and detail-oriented and focused. Biden's team on defense, blanketing the airwaves. And this kind of sense that he's not ready for this job is just a bucket of BS. The Biden team continues to dismiss recent polling, showing more than 70% of voters are concerned about the president's age. There's good news tonight about a 10-minute surgery that is changing lives. A team of doctors giving those in need new hope and the gift of sight. For eye surgeon Dr. Lloyd Williams, this moment when the bandages first come off says everything. <laughs> After a life-changing eye surgery, this woman is seeing again for the first time in years. That moment, repeated over and over again, as people who had surgery the day before adjust to the light. What is that moment for you? When I first saw it happen, I thought, I can do this for the rest of my life and never feel like I wasted a minute. Dr. Williams, an ophthalmologist at Duke University, has traveled with the Himalayan Cataract Project for a decade on a mission to cure blindness. The latest trip in December to South Sudan in Africa, a country with the highest rate of blindness in the world. Dr. Williams worked alongside two local eye surgeons. For the most part, I don't even get up. I just sit, do surgery, next, do surgery, next. They call these surgical boot camps, performing nearly 2,000 cataract surgeries in just 10 days. People walked from as far away as 40 miles to be here, some arriving in wheelbarrows, many led by a stick. The results are immediate. Five-year-old Kual, confused at first in this new world of sight, before finally spotting his mom. Many families here have a child take care of the person who's blind. 
cure the blindness in the individual. You improve the economic situation of the family. You put one of their children back in school. This woman seeing her adult son for the first time in five years. <laughs> Imagine if you hadn't seen your child for years. I mean, it's really quite remarkable. You don't need to speak the language to understand what's happening. She locks eyes with her son. We had one boy say to us, I don't deserve to have any friends because I'm blind. And when I see that in them and I think I can do something about it, it just makes that all worthwhile. These boot camps changing lives as patients come out of the darkness to see the world the in new light. That is NBC Nightly News for this Sunday. I'm Kate Snow. For all of us here at NBC News, stay safe. Have a great night. I praise to you, Howl Bashir and Yahweh Shah. So as we was looking at, you know, we seen uh, the Hamites being healed. Uh, and, and, and being their vision being restored, okay. So, according to scripture, we know these people, so called uh, E, is going to play as if he's the most high, okay. And he's going to do things and, and perform miracles and things like that, okay. But <clears throat> the most high is our healer, okay. And he heals us from everything, okay. Well, this through them using the technology, uh, whatever, okay, but uh, the Most High is a natural healer, okay, so let's just go get to uh, a couple scriptures right here, we're going to start at, uh, we'll start right here at, uh, Uh, Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 and it says surely oppression maketh a wise man mad and a gift destroyed the heart see that so uh, so gifts can destroy the mind the, the heart and have you believing in something that uh, have, have you falling out to something that you know ain't right Okay, so that's why it says a gift spoils the heart because a gift people can continue to give you things and give you things, but the intentions are, 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 are to destroy you or to kind of trap you in some type of way. So this is why oppression makes a, mind, a wise man mad, and a gift destroys the heart. It says, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. See that? So these are proudful people. And they're going to exalt themselves as if, they, as if they're the most high. Okay? It says, be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry. For anger rested in the bosoms of fools see that so the most high in the scripture tell us that vengeance is his you know and he said he's gonna uh, uh, pay back all those who who mock him or who pierce his side okay so as you can see we're seeing in the video uh, <clears throat> You know that things that was going on as far as uh you know just far as just things taking place in this 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 this, this place where we at you know this this a lot of things are going to be happening and the most side is going to be doing a lot of judgment it, it says uh let's go to joel Uh, and we'll start at Joel 3. It says, For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, 
I will also gather all nations, and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So that's a, that's in the land of Israel. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. You see that? So these so-called uh, small headers, you know, has possessed the Lord's land and parted parted it. Okay. And they have cast lots for my people. See that? And have given a boy for an harlot, and sold a girl for wine, that they may drink. Yea. And what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidane? So these are the so-called small headers and the and the, and the Hamites that, that captured the Lord's people and, and, and scattered them. He said, and I will he said I'm sloppy. And all the coast of Palestine will ye render me a recompense. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Okay, so the, so the Most High is coming to pay back. Uh, Yahweh is coming to pay back those people who took his people and sold them. You know, cast lots on his people, scattered his people. And this is how uh, so-called blacks and the uh, so-called uh, Native Indians get in this land where we at today because we were scattered he said because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried them into your temples my goodly pleasant things so all our majority of the most high you know all those artifacts and all of those uh, silver and gold and, you know, these people got this stuff hidden, you know, and they possess this. So the Most High uh, know exactly what these people have did on the earth, you see. He said, the children also of Judah, so-called blacks, and the children of Jerusalem have yet sold into the Grecians, the Greeks, so the so-called, uh, so-called whites, that ye may remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them. So this is why you see the children of Israel waking up to the truth. See that? Because the Most High is, is this is the great, uh, great awakening, and, and Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is on his way back to gather his people. See? He said, And we'll, we'll return your recompense upon your own head, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them. To the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. So this is why you see uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of nations rising up against each other in these. Uh, in the east, okay, and, and and over here in the west, you know, because he's gonna put the spirit in these people and draw them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, and he's gonna it's gonna be, uh, you know, this is where World War Three is gonna kick off. So the mighty men are waking up. See, and this is why he's putting it in the spirit for the draw them in that area, you know, because this is where he's going to plead for his people. At. 
is going to burn them up. He said, let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. See? So a lot of these weak countries and weak nations are rising up against uh, these strong countries. You know, because they're tired and they, they see what, you know, how they've been uh, oppressed. And how these so-called uh, small hatters then, you know, pretty much then destroy their lands. So the most high is going to uh, take away their weapons from them. You know? They're going to take all their weapons, all their uh, fighting weapons, and he's going to, you know, he's going to burn them. So even these small countries or, or weak nations are raising up against uh, America. It says, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause the mighty ones to come down, O Lord Yahusha. Let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathens round about. See that? So this is why the chaos is going on, the, the, the wars and nations are rising up against each other because the most high is putting the spirit of them to come down into that, that area, that land. See? He say, put ye in the put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full. The fats overflow. For their wickedness is great. You see that? So the Most High is going to bring judgment in to this nation for the wickedness and for the oppression of his people, the Israelites. The people that were scattered uh, into America, to the Caribbean islands, to all these different places and countries. You know. So, uh, he say, he say, Multitudes, multitudes is in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decisions. So the Most High is going to put you in the spirit for these people to come and fight in the valley of Jehoshaphat because he's going to bring his people back into their land. And this is where his kingdom is going to be set up. And the children of Israel.